Hello and welcome to the Trade Ideas Market Recap for Wednesday, December the 3rd. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of the trading room. This is the address to get in and you can log in with your Facebook or your Twitter account. All right, let's get to the charts, the stocks that I uh, traded today. Now, we actually had a bit of a downtime with uh, our Trade Ideas data today. Um, if you take a look here, you can see here's my bouncers and at about 11.03, that was the last one. And then so it was almost three hours later that we didn't get another one. And uh, a lot of that was because our data was, uh, there was something wrong with it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure technically what, what the problem was, but uh, you know, the data was coming in, but it was delayed and other types of alerts. But um, so consequently, I really, for about three, three and a half hours, I really didn't do very much trading. So that is why I'm only going to go over uh, two trades today. And the first one was MOLG. Now, this was a bizarre one because when I got up in the morning, uh, I had MOL, MOLG as something that I wanted to look at. And look at this pre-market uh, trading, a spike up to $8. And let me just get the... Um, I think this is at uh, 5, 12 in the morning. Again, this is Eastern time and, you know, 5, 18 Eastern time. And so this huge spike up. So I don't know what was going on there. I mean, I don't know if somebody, you know, sometimes you put in a, um, a bid uh, and you get hit accidentally. I really don't know what happened there. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I mean, the volume and we're only talking, well, we're talking 6K. 6,000 shares, so it's not like it's a 100 share. Uh, this was another 6,000. This was uh, 5,000. This was 20,000. So, I mean, something was going on. So, obviously, I was going to be watching this one. So, um, not unlike the VGGL uh, trade yesterday, uh, quite frankly, watching it in the pre-market, and I took the trade right here at, um, what time was it, at uh, 8.18, and I took the trade right here at uh, 416. And so right here, sorry, right, uh, I'm sorry, right here is when the market opened. Of course, here, <laughs> it's a, the look at the volume. Here's where the market opened. So I was holding on through all of this and, you know, saw it get up to $5. Uh, didn't sell. Again, probably a little bit... Um, Influence a lot, obviously, by the fact that eight dollars was up here, and thought, well, maybe it's got another dollar or so to uh, to, to get into it. But anyway, bottom line is, is that uh, when the market opened right here, we got this big volume uh, candle. I decided to take half off at 461, and then again, it tried to pop through five. It did actually get up to 514, but when it uh, broke down, uh, it broke down pretty quickly. And again, these are these are five these are three minute candles, so it broke down pretty quickly. And I exited the second half at 461. And you can see that it's uh you know we still have let's see let's get to the real time there is four we're sitting at just over four dollars. So I will watch this again tomorrow. Uh, I have no idea what happened um, way earlier in the pre market, but I mean somebody got a, a a bad bad fill or something. So there can't be feeling too uh, too good. Uh, Verizon. Verizon was the one on the bouncers. Let me just see if it, uh, yeah, here we go. It was an early bouncer. Uh, Verizon showed up at uh, 4851, 4861, one on the two minute, one on the uh, five minute, and at 937. So 4851, let's take a look at what where that was. So right, right around here. So the alert came in here, so I started watching it and hit down 48.27. I took it just over the top of the candle and at 48.42, bit of a wide stop. I mean, again, technically, uh, I'd be stopped out at 48.28. So it's about a 20, um, well, not quite a 20 cent stop. So actually, it's not, that's not too bad. Thought it was a little wider than that, to be honest. And uh, I got out of the trade at, uh, sorry, I took, so I took the trade at 48.42. And I don't know, I guess I must have forgotten to put the actual, um, um, there's where they should go, right there at 48.67. I don't know why I had the line down there, but I took out the first half at uh, 48.67, and as it was struggling to get through uh, this level, I took out the second half at 48.67 also. Uh, obviously a little premature, uh, you can see 
it popped down well on here it popped down to uh, 4861 uh, I kind of thought it was over, but it uh, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, and let's see, it almost broke through 49. I remember I was watching this to see if it could break through 49, but it didn't do it. So, um, so yeah, I mean, probably got scared out. I don't know why. I, you know, to be honest, I can't remember why I got, why I, I got out here. Probably should have held on. Uh, if it broke down through here, which was the bottom here, 40 or 55, I should have got out. But at any rate, I um, I was out. And I did take a few other little trade, well, some trades, uh, made a couple of pennies and a couple and, a, and lost and a couple other ones. I'm not going to go over them. They're kind of inconsequential. Uh, I do want to go over this one, though. And let's just see. Yeah. <laughs> This is my swing trade. Again, uh, I'm in at uh, 34.12, and you see that it uh, got all the way up to 35.09. And, I, you know, this is this is on Dan's strategy, uh, well, the trade idea strategy, that you're supposed to hold this for five days. And, you know, I'll have to see if I can, if I can handle that. Uh, I, I'm telling you that if it got back down to 35.10, I'm probably going to, uh, or 12, I'm probably going to exit the trade. I may re-enter it. Uh, it was awfully hard for me not to sell up here uh, and watch it come back down. But the theory is that is that you know this is the this is uh, yesterday we bought uh, uh, and today is uh, I'll count today as day two. So we'll see after day five uh, where it is and if it's over here, uh, great. Uh, I may have to modify the way I, I would play this because I mean so, uh, especially on, on on something like this which doesn't usually move up that quickly that uh, fast. I mean, uh, you know, uh, what it, um, H and R Block is usually, can be kind of a sleepy trader. So when it moved up so quickly, I probably should have taken half off anyway, like I would have been certainly in a day trade. But anyway, we'll see what happens. And um, you know, I'm still holding it. And uh, you know, I guess uh, if I can let the if I can let the algorithm work its magic, and uh, after five days it, it's above this, then then that would be great. Now. The trigger on this was 33.85. So, you know, again, actually, I asked uh, Trade Ideas if if we can get something that would say, you know, okay, well, I'm going to sell half at, uh, you know, if it's up a dollar, and maybe that's in the next iteration of the odds maker that uh, we can do something like that because, you know, something that's gone up a dollar in a day on something that generally is rather sleepy, um, I, you know, I just have to take some profit, but we'll see. Now the last one is my what's it? Oh boy, this is <laughs> this is fabulous. Um, I left when I started the video. Uh, MGNX was right here, and I said, "Boy, if I can get up to 30, that will be a real milestone for it." And uh, you know, this is really accelerating well. Again, I'm in way lower. Um, you know, I was in originally at 21.43. I did sell some, but I've added some back. So my uh, my average now is about uh, 23. So, you know, I, if I, again, if I look at the daily chart on this and back it up, uh, make it a little tighter, oh, sorry, and you can see up here that we've got a 38 resistance. Uh, so, you know, I don't know if it's going to get up to here, but I mean, certainly things uh, have really happened on this stock since it got through uh, th this level right here. Well, I guess right there. Or even there, I guess we could say. Since it broke through here, it is really, really starting to take off. So this has been a wonderful long-term hold uh, for me, but it's been, it's you know, without its um, trials and tribulations, uh, you know. But I mean, I got into this last August, and uh, you know, obviously it would have been better if I just waited and uh, got in here, and uh, without I wouldn't have had all the angst that I had. But uh, nonetheless. Uh, not complaining at all now, so I have to see if it can. I, it looks like it could uh, pop through 30 even today. Uh, there's another hour left in the market, so uh, let me just bring back the three minute candles and uh, yeah, looks like it could do it. So, anyway, that's it. Um, we're getting a lot of traders in the room now, we're almost uh, up to 100 um, in the room. Uh, you know, we've started from scratch uh, about a year ago, uh, and we're slowly and slowly building, and we've got a lot of good traders, it's certainly not just uh, myself who was uh, uh, putting out trade ideas. So, 
um, I encourage you, if, you, if you're just watching these videos and haven't had the uh, chance or wondering if you should get into the room, I really encourage you to come into the room and uh, we just talk. We're very focused. Uh, it's, uh, I, I, you know, I'm not saying we never have any fun, but I mean, we really just focus on stocks. There's very little else. We don't, we don't uh, branch out into politics or religion or anything, sports or anything else. We're very focused on trading stocks all day long. So I really encourage you to come into the room. And let's just bring back and again, here's how you get in and you can log in with your Facebook or your Twitter account. And I hope to see you in the trading room tomorrow.